What's up, Tech Gang? Stefan here from TechRide. Today, I'm going to be doing the unboxing and first impressions on the new Samsung Galaxy A12. Stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Hopefully, you guys are having a good day. I just got in the Galaxy A12 right here. This is a new Samsung device that I believe was released at the end of November, November 24th, if I'm not mistaken. But a lot of people haven't received this phone yet. Uh, I did actually find this on eBay. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description down below. And if this is up later in time, I'm going to go ahead and leave the Amazon link in the description and the comments down below but yes this is the international version of the galaxy a12 so um it looks like this is only going to work with gsm carriers and i'm pretty sure this is going to be released at metro cricket and boost mobile uh, if i'm not mistaken uh, because it is the successor to the a11 so let's hope that actually happens first and foremost this device was a little bit over 200 bucks uh, it's probably going to be cheaper and you guys are probably going to be able to get this for free uh, from your prepaid carrier once it comes out uh, but we're going to do an unboxing of this first and foremost i just want to talk about a few of the specifications now this device does have many different versions uh, anywhere from three to six gigabytes of ram and anywhere from 64 gigabytes of internal storage to 128 now the model that i have right here is the 64 gig gigabyte and four gigabyte of ram uh, model so we have 64 gigs of internal and four gigs of ram now as for the screen size this is going to be way bigger than the galaxy a11 so we're going to have a 6.5 inch screen uh, that is going to be hd so we don't get full hd on here so it's going to be 720 by 1600 p our main camera on the rear is going to be a 48 megapixel camera capable of recording at 1080p which is cool the other really cool thing about this device is it actually has a 5000 milliamp battery which is great to see and we do have an octa-core processor inside of here uh, it looks like our processor is going to be a mediatek processor and that is going to be the helio p35 so yeah guys there are some really cool things about this device that we're going to get into right now but let's go ahead and unbox this super excited all right everyone so we have the device right here let's go ahead and slide this out this is going to pretty much be just like any other a series box uh, first and foremost we have this little box right here that i believe has our instruction guide let's go ahead and open this up so yeah first and foremost we have our warranty card and we have our quick start guide next we have the phone obviously 6.5 inch display a quadruple camera so we have a four camera setup on the back of the device and we have a fingerprint sensor actually on the side of the device which is really really cool and we're going to take a look at that in a second but let's go and put that at the side and as you guys see we have our 15 watt fast charger right here so we have our wall charger right here and just a really quick disclaimer this is the international version as I said before so it's gonna come with this but if you do buy the international version you are going to get a adapter if you live in the United States so that's always great to see next thing we have in here is our sim card ejector tool we have our earbuds right here and we also have our USB type C data cable so this isn't gonna be micro USB uh, thankfully uh, so USB type C Cool. And that is all that is in the box. All right, everyone. So finally getting inside of the phone, uh, the exciting part. I feel like the coolest part about this is the back of the phone. Uh, this look is really nice. It kind of looks like carbon fiber, to be quite honest. Uh, but the back of the device is going to be plastic. Uh, it is going to be a non-removable back. But I think the pattern and just the look of this looks really cool very minimalistic um, at the back of the device we have our led flash and as you guys see right here we have our quadruple camera setup and it kind of has a little bump so it's kind of like you know the new iphone 12 or the pixel 4's camera bump but our main camera is going to be 48 megapixels we have three other cameras that we're going to be able to use as well and i believe we do have wide angle on this so that's great to see and we have our samsung emblem on the back of the phone as well right side of the phone we have our volume up and down rocker and just below the volume rocker we have your fingerprint sensor and honestly i really do like this fingerprint sensor i feel like it's the most efficient the end screen fingerprint sensor that we see on the galaxy a51 and the a71 is cool as well uh, but i really prefer that to be quite honest uh, also on the bottom of the device we have our speaker so we have one speaker this isn't going to be stereo it's going to be mono but i actually heard some pretty good things about this um, i heard it's pretty clear and crisp uh, in the middle right there we have a usb type c port to the left of that we have our noise canceling mic and to the left of that we have our headphone jack 
left side of the device we do have our sim tray right here and we can actually expand our memory via micro sd card if you guys would like to do that and the top of the phone we have another noise cancelling mic but yeah guys let's go ahead and boot up the device and see how this looks all right everyone so we went ahead and booted up the device as you guys see the screen actually looks pretty nice for 720p uh, we have a really big screen at 6.5 inches so i think this is you know really cool that we get a bigger screen on a device that is probably going to be really really inexpensive um, also if we go to the drop down bar menu we have a few different features right here as you guys see we have our wi-fi sound bluetooth auto rotate airplane mode flashlight power mode mobile data mobile hotspot blue light filter location do not disturb nearby share which is great to see sync dolby atmos which i absolutely love so if you guys are going to be using the earbuds that come in with this they are going to sound really good with dolby atmos on it's kind of like a surround sound feature if you guys don't know about that we also have quick share to the right of that and we have dark mode and focus mode as well and i'm sure we have some other things that we can go ahead and edit on that little drop down bar menu so far though this is our app drawer we do have some preloaded applications on here we have google tv tiktok samsung uh game launcher i did download temper run too so that was not preloaded but it's kind of weird that they put tiktok on here and they also have netflix on here as well which is cool to see uh we're gonna go ahead and check out what software we're currently running i believe it is android 10.0 so let's go and check that out see what ui we're running currently as well so yeah guys it looks like we're running android 10.0 with one ui 2.5 so this is what we're seeing i believe in the galaxy a51 and the galaxy a71 so those are some very popular devices hopefully this device does get an update to android 11 uh, i'm thinking it will because those other devices should be but this device is pretty much up to date um, as far as the other a series devices go um, i did take some pictures on this device at night so we're going to go through those in a second but before i do that i want to go ahead and test out the speaker as well as the a video on this device just to show you you know the quality so let's go ahead and test this out all right everyone so we have one of my videos booted up right here as you guys can see we're gonna go ahead and test out the speaker just turn this all the way up right here uh, and we're gonna go ahead and play this and see how this looks and sounds Alright everyone, so starting off with the first thing, the visual display, we can go up to 720p as far as the quality goes on YouTube and Netflix. Uh, that looks fine. That looks good, especially for the price. It looks really decent. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, also, another thing that I noticed, the speaker is actually very, very crisp and clear. Um, only seeing that we have one, that's that's pretty impressive. So it looks like we have a better speaker in here uh, than last time around. So that's nice to see. Uh, but we do not have stereo speakers. So if you guys are watching a video, just make sure you're not like covering that or you're wearing earbuds because it is really really easy to cover um, but I'm really thankful that we have a 6.5 inch screen because when you're playing games it's not going to be that easy to cover um, the speaker because you guys still have a little bit of room so it's great that we still have that real estate to work with uh, but the speaker sounds crisp not not insanely loud though I feel like the directional volume would be better in my opinion I feel like a lot of people are used to having a second speaker in the headset um, but I digress I feel like this is still pretty decent as far as the price goes to be quite honest uh, the last thing we're gonna get into really quick is the camera um, actually may just take a look at the gaming performance in another video but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the camera and see how this looks so as you guys see getting inside of the camera it looks like we have live focus we have regular photo we can actually use wide angle which is great to see um, absolutely love that feature and as far as our video goes we're gonna go ahead and check the settings and check how much we can go up to as far as the resolution goes uh, so as far as the resolution, it looks like we can only go up to 30 FPS at 1080p or 720p at 30 FPS. Obviously, you can change the aspect ratio as well uh, if you guys would like to do that. And if you guys would like to change the aspect ratio just from here, you can do that as well. Either 9 by 16, um, 1 by 1, or full. So really like that. We're going to go into some of the other features right here on more. Uh, it looks like we have pro, we have panorama, uh, macro, and food. So nice to see uh, those features right here. We're just going to go ahead and take a picture 
I'm gonna go ahead and weigh you know how decent this camera is just off the bat and then I'll probably go through some other photos right now just to show you guys some examples all right everyone so we took a picture right here um, the saturation is actually really decent I feel like they definitely get the blues correct uh, as far as this goes um, the little panels on the back right there the brown panels are a little bit darker than normal so obviously Samsung has that really deep saturation so it's kind of gonna over exaggerate you know how dark the color actually is uh, but getting into some other stuff this was a video I took let's go to some other pictures right here this was a nighttime photo I feel like we get some pretty decent detail uh, for a $200 phone. This is one of the selfies that I took. We also have another picture of C's Candy, just visited this place uh, during the weekend, really good chocolate. Uh, but I feel like this camera is definitely acceptable uh, for the price. I feel like it's definitely decent. Uh, and I don't think you guys are going to have a hard time getting some decent quality pictures and videos from it. But we're going to go into further detail on that later on. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. Really quick, I just want to go ahead and test out the fingerprint sensor. This is an extremely quick fingerprint sensor. Let's go and try that again. Wow. All right, let's go and try that. Boom. Extremely quick, extremely accurate as you guys can see very nice fingerprint sensor on this device so fingerprint sensor very very impressive for the price but yeah guys hopefully you did enjoy this video uh leave in the comment section down below what you want me to cover on this device and i'll definitely go ahead and make a video about it uh, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you guys are not subscribed already hit that subscribe button as well as turning on the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time i do upload a new video this has been safan from tech right peace out tech gang